and welcome along. Today on Upton Farm, uh, we are going to be uncovering our silage here and loading it into the back of uh, our Stuart trailer uh, because we've got to transport it over to the cows and get the cows fed with some mixed ration because they're uh, rather low. Their productivity is down to 18%. Uh, and if we bring them up here, uh, we can see that uh, it's mainly because they're out of straw and they're out of power food and silage. So uh, let's get to it. So we're going to use our deer here because it's pretty big. Oh, we need to uncover this first. So let's uncover this. And open the silo. There we go. Alright, so it seems to have opened the silo from the back. We should be able to... Uh, yeah, it's opened the silo from the back. That's a small issue. Ah, uh, there we go. Whole thing is opened up now. So it shouldn't be too long to fill this trailer up. I think this trailer will probably take about two or three loads from this. We'll tell fairly quickly, though. Yeah. Cool. There we go. Uh, so 25%. So, yeah, this does fill it quite quickly. They're back in. So we've got quite a bit of silage in here, which is brilliant because that keeps us going for a while. And it's nice and versatile to uh, in this trailer. Although this trailer is doing... We did miss a bit by the looks of things. We'll make sure we're in the right place this time. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how we managed to spill some on the floor. Uh, 51%, so two more loads. And we're going to tip all this. We've got our, our sort of our mixing shed. We've got some space in there to put this. Uh, we previously had a pile of silage in there. So we're going to put it roughly where we had before, before we uh, updated the map a little while ago. I do like this John Deere loader. It does sound a little bit like it's seen better days when you step out of it, though. Alright, and round... sure that we keep visible. There we go. Right, this should do it. 78% we're at at the moment. Up it goes. There we are. So not quite full. Or not quite uh, completely emptying this. But we are 17% yeah, left. This is going to be more than enough. Oh, that's... There we go. Right, let's get this back over to the cow shed. So this is the uh, this is 37, 38,000 litres of this. Uh, absolutely is going to be more than enough for, uh, for what we need. We've now stopped the milk sales as well. So we are in a position where for next time, which will be our final uh, episode on this map, we should have enough milk and enough... Uh, of everything else and enough of you know um, all of our 
We got plenty of fruit, we got plenty of sugar, we got plenty of pretty much everything we need now to make our milkshakes and our yogurt and everything. So that is our ultimate plan is to get uh, to get output from our milk factory. And uh, and yeah, we should be in a place where for our final episode we will do what we've been planning for probably the last dozen or so episodes since we first put this uh, the factory stuff into the map right we're gonna tip this here I'm gonna get as far back as I can there we go that means we have a good amount of silage in here to use for feeding cows there we go. Right, we'll just go and park the deer off to the side. And then we can get to loading up the Keenan. And so just out of the way down the side here. Now the idea is all of this stuff that we have from this, we're going to sell off. So anything we don't need... We're pretty much going to sell off. Right, so in here. I'm going to start up by... Uh, we're going to get bales first. So in this, I think it's one, one, and one. But we've got to be careful because I think we have... Yeah, so we can put in actually a lot of silage and a lot of hay. So we want a hay bale off the top of here. Preferably without knocking the pile over as we've been known to do before. There we go. Right, so we can put this hay bale in, and this should keep our mixture still okay, I'm hoping. Whoops. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Try that again. I forgot to press the locking script button properly. There we go. Right, so that answers that question. It's very low. <laughs> so we're now out of balance. To go, we'll take one off the top of here because it looks like. Wait. Let's steer out that way. There we go. Yeah, we have a lot of bales left in here, and they are they are not overly well stacked. It's something that I will uh, that I need to sort of keep an eye on going forwards. Okay, that's better. Now all we need is the silage. We get the silage in, or a bucket full of silage, and that will be perfect. So we'll drop this off. We'll get the bucket on. I don't know how much... Well, we'll find out fairly quickly how many of these we need to do.
Now this bucket should hold about 4,000 litres. If it does, that sort of evens everything out. Yeah, there we go. Just under because buckets in FS17 don't fill all the way to the top. They're always a little bit short, about 15 litres short, which is odd, really odd. That has evened things out, uh, and our trailer is 95% full. Perfect. Right, so I'll turn this off, and we will go and feed our cows. Which will make them happy. And the next thing we've got to go and do is we need to go and take some, hay uh, some straw bales in. And feed them that. Right, we're going to have to go round. This only unloads from one side. It's a while since we fed the cows, I think. Uh, that's not feeding the cows. Uh. Right. I think we might have to get our bucket out here just to sort that out. I don't know why that happened. That's a bit weird. How full did that get our cows? Uh, not very. <laughs> we, we kind of wasted most of that on that pile. What I think I might do is just run back. This has not gone overly well. I don't know why that just happened. I must have pressed the wrong button and done the uh, tip anywhere rather than the um, the tip into the trough. Which is very annoying. But while we've got the bucket on, we'll pop out there and just sort that mess out. These things don't always go to plan, is the thing. Be nice if the tip anywhere trigger sort of registered. Now will it let me tip this here? Yeah, that's gone into filling that up. That's really weird. And it's going to be a pain to try and sort. Yeah, because that has just gone over the top of that. It is recognising it, has it? And it is then filling the trough, but it's... Yeah. I think I think the best title for this is Making a Mess <laughs> While Feeding the Cows. Oh, 
We've almost got it cleared up. It is a pity that we seem to have wasted quite a bit. We need a cow go in front of us now. Quite know how to get that bit that's going across there. I think the rest of that we're probably going to have to to leave. I think the only way I might get it is if I get one of the conveyor belts over here and fill up that way. I don't know if I can get into the bucket from that, but certainly. Uh, yeah. Well, that's improved things a little bit. That's always difficult to clean up when that kind of thing happens. So, let's go into here. Get another bucket full of silage. Wow, I really can't angle this bucket very well. I think for the amount of cows we have on here, this is probably too small a um, piece of equipment. There we go. So drop the bucket off. So we're going to do one more feed. The cow productivity is up to 90%. So we get, and they've got 19% um, food. So base food and power food. So that's good. Uh, this will take us up to about 40%, which is fine for now for what we need. I can always go and do a little bit more of that. And we need to then go and sort out their straw is their other thing. I mean it, their productivity is right back up which is perfect. Um, that is going to make a huge difference to us when we start making our milk products next time. What we're going to do I'm going to take another piece off the top here. Very weirdly stacked. I thought I'd stack them better than that originally. There we go. Another trailer full. Ninety four per cent full. Turn it on and get it mixing. And 
then we'll be able to just turn it out. Wow, this uh, 6M was having trouble driving and mixing then. That's a bit weird. This tractor should be able to do both. Right, bring it alongside. And this time, let's see if we can't actually empty it properly. Right, here goes. There we are. Cow productivity is right back up to 90%. Our next thing now uh, is we need to give them some straw and then that will do it. So we'll, we'll, we will be up to full productivity again. So we're then going to give it some time before next episode and uh, let it produce some milk. Let them produce some milk and, uh, and hopefully by then we should have... Uh, a really decent amount of milk to put into our factory, into our milk uh, milk factory. And in doing that, we should then also produce some milk products to sell. Which is what I want to finish off with next time. Right, so what we got to still do this time, uh, which we have a bit of time left, so we're going to sort out the straw for our cows. And then the last thing we're going to do, so, hmm. weird, that should be on another bit on my joystick, bit, isn't it? The whole pile is kicking up a stink over this. There we go. Right, now this, the beauty of this map is that you just have to drive this stack of bales into the yard. Squeeze past our tractor. Drag this into here. There we go. Yeah, I think we have two bales over here, actually. We'll just back these in as well. Yeah, that's two of our bales. Put them in the middle and they'll get used up. Right, there we go. So we need to put the forks back on here because the next thing I want to do is uh, if we're going to have time and our production facilities are still running, we might as well get them producing a little bit more. So we're just going to put the forks on the front of this and have a quick run down to our production yard. Our, uh, our fruit isn't producing at the moment because it's run out of manure. Uh, so I might throw a little bit more on there. But to be honest, we have four pallets of those. So I'm not too worried about that. As we have a couple of minutes, what we can do and do. Why is our cow productivity not shot back up? Uh, it's, yeah, that'll, that'll go. That should go up to 100% in a moment. There is plenty of food and water and everything for them. So that's all good. We're going to head down here. Just move some stuff so that we can uh, 
so that we're in a position that next time we can just start assembling all these bits to make milk. Uh, great demand for wood chips, but we are not... We do have some. We do have some as a byproduct of our um, of our pallet creation. But not as anything else. All right, there we go. Down here. Cross our bridge. Over here. So we've got a full set of pallets on here, so we'll get those moved. This does this does really produce well this stuff. And this produces so many pallets. A ridiculous number of pallets. Right, we're on to it. Yeah, so we've got four sets of pallets here. We we have lots that we can sell over here, which is really rather encouraging. Right. No. No. There we go. Uh, and I think we've got some more sugar over the other side as well. I don't need is to change the angle of these normally. Yeah, so another full load of sugar. So what we're going to do next time is we're going to take one each of these pallets. We seem to have got into a weird situation with that pallet again. Always seems to happen with these pallets. With the, uh, don't seem to be able to pick them up very well. There we go. That's lifted off the ground. But that's good. So we've got sugar on here. So our ingredients very much uh, that we need are sugar and uh, pallets and cardboard, fruit and um, finally milk. And the great thing is there are other factory mods like this out there. It's a whole other set of stuff. Oh, come on. Off, please. I do like to get stuck, I find. There we go. Right, that's that off, and then just the cardboard cartons. Last one, and that will then do us for our work on the farm today. Next time, we absolutely will have some milk. And as a result, we can start producing our, uh, producing our milk products. What I really want to do is I want to get an Arctic trailer that really we can load all that stuff on to go and sell it. That would be quite cool, I think. But for now, it looks like that is all the jobs that we have to do done on the farm for today. So we fed the cows. The cows uh, should be good for a good three, four days. It's not going to take us that long to get this sorted. So... There will be plenty of milk. And I think we might we might end up going into the red in the next uh, before the next episode because uh, Yeah, we're not selling the milk anymore. But the cows are nice and clean and they've got food and water and everything. They're up to hundred percent. We have ten thousand litres of milk. 
So, uh, yeah. Next time, it is our final episode on Upton Farm. I hope you will join me for that. We're going to make some milk products finally. So we're going to make some yogurt and we're going to make some milkshakes. Uh, but for now, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. For, and for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.